Let me get in my chair and we can talk. Welcome to my humble establishment. This place is a dump. Hear that? He's too good for us. Now, before we get too attached, how about you jump into that cage and show us what you're made of? All right. I'll do it. I like your moxie. There's a trap door under the stage. Head down the stairs to my right and up the lift. No guns. No power up. We have our fighter, ladies and gentlemen! Go easy on him, all right? No finishing flourishes, capiche? Yeah, yeah. Quit showing off and get him up here already. Fighting? Someone finally put down those idiot rule breakers. We'll give the new guy a few moments to figure out where the stage door is. A glorious fight is just moments away. Ladies and gentlemen, and the rest of you ugly lot, for your amusement only, I present to you, Kate! And the new blood! Listen, you two. Here's the deal. I want blood. But no one dies. I just want to size up the new guy, all right? On the count of three. You all know how this goes. One, two, three, fight! What's this? The new blood bested our fair Kate. Quit standing there and finish it already. The hell are you waiting for? What's the matter with you? Everything's the matter with me. Just forget it. All right, fight's over. You two can come out now. All right. Let's go, hero. After you. That's enough now. Fight's over. Come on out. Through the gate in the cage. <laughs> nice work. Get over here. You too, Bird. I told you to quit calling me that. So, new blood, what'd you think of that? Eh, too easy. You said she's one of your best? Too easy, eh? How about we have a little rematch when I'm not all worn out from fighting the idiots that stumbled into the arena before you? You lost that all on your own. You're strung out and getting sloppy. You need to curb the chems, darling. I'm not your darling. Don't mind her. She hates losing. But you? You weren't half bad in there. You want to make this a regular thing? Afraid this was a one-time thing. One time, huh? I bet you'll change your mind. Here, take this. There's more where that came from. If you keep fighting. And living, of course. Thank you. You'll get more the more you do this. 
If you need a place to stay, you can crash with the other fighters backstage, though. Something tells me you won't be calling this place home. You're right about that. Hear that, Tommy? Not everyone finds your humble establishment the dog's bollocks. Lost some of the charm, has it? Whatever. Perhaps you could do me a solid. Our dear Kate here needs a change of scenery. If you take her with you, when you go on whatever it adventures it is you go on out there, I'd appreciate it. Now wait a second. What do you say? Would you help an old man by keeping an eye on his pet? Damn it, Tommy. I'm no man's pet. Only if she wants to come. Tommy, you backstabbing. You know what? Fine. I'm done. I give Tommy a week before he starts missing my sweet arse. When are we leaving, Hotshot? I'll find you on my way out. Great. I'll be in the toilet fixing me makeup. Listen, friend. You're doing me a favor. But let me make this perfectly clear to you. Should any harm come to her, I'll gut you from testicles to eyeballs. Do you understand me? Perfectly. Excellent! Now head over to the bar and Stanley will pour you a glass of something special. You bet. Over my dead body. I see you've made your decision, Knight. How very disappointing. And I don't appreciate being betrayed by my own soldiers. How dare you betray the Brotherhood? As a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin, I'm issuing a formal challenge against your authority as Elder. We'll settle this matter as it was written in the litany. In combat. We'll settle this soon. Then you leave me no choice. Good luck to you, then. Thank you. I'll show you what happens to traitors! We're done here. Let's move out. <clears throat> Are you ready to go? Good luck. Ad Victorium.
It took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. You've come such a long way in a short amount of time, so I can understand how you feel. All I can promise is that I'll be by your side every step of the way. I hope that's enough to convince you to take your place as Elder of the Brotherhood. You should be the one to do it. I suppose. Thank you. You're welcome. It's the least I can do for the soldier who risked everything on my behalf. Dance? Yes. I want to make one thing clear to everyone. This body might be synth, but my heart and mind belong to the Brotherhood. The Institute is still a tremendous threat to the Commonwealth. They possess technologies that need to be confiscated or destroyed. And even if that means I have to pull the trigger on my own kind, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. The litany's clear. We have a new elder. Only a single question remains. Will the rest of the Brotherhood fall in line? Yes, right. sir. Halen, head back to Cambridge and make sure the police station is secure. Yes, sir. And Proctor, I believe you have a giant to awaken. Absolutely. Let's get to it, people. I'll see what I can do. Ad Victorium, Sentinel.
It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. So tell me, the world back then, what was it like? It's the same old thing, people fighting each other instead of working together. Everything going to hell, but no one doing anything about it. My marriage was the most important thing in my life. Mm. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks again. The world back then, what was it like? There were problems, but it was home, you know? I was used to it. I guess I just thought it was gonna stay that way. I was a father. I just wanted a better life for my son. Interesting. Anyway, we should probably get going. So tell me, the world back then, what was it like? Blue skies, green grass, clean streets, a nice home with a bunch of silly appliances, friendly neighbors. Not like now. Not at all. I was a soldier. You fought in the war? Tell me, what happened? What was it all about? Protecting freedom. The American way of life. Protecting a way of life. Huh. Anyway. We should probably get going. Thanks again. Tell me. The world back then. What was it like? We thought we were safe. But we were just kidding ourselves. Everyone knew the world was going to end at some point. And then it did. Hardly matters now. From where you're standing, I guess it doesn't. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks again. So tell me, the world back then, what was it like? It's the same old thing. People fighting each other instead of working together. Everything going to hell, but no one doing anything about it. My marriage was the most important thing in my life. Interesting. Anyway. Um... There were problems, but it was home, you know? I was used to it. I guess I just thought... It was gonna stay that way. I had just given birth to Sean a few months prior. It kind of occupied most of my time. I'll bet. Try raising a little sister sometime. The world back then, what was it like? Blue skies, green grass, clean streets, a nice home with a bunch of silly appliances, friendly neighbors. Not like now. Not at all. I practiced law. A lawyer, huh? And what was justice like back then? I made sure everyone got a fair trial, but they didn't get rolled over by the system. The guardian of the downtrodden, huh? Anyway, what was it like? We thought we were safe, but we were just kidding ourselves. Everyone knew the world was going to end at some point, and then... And then it did. Hardly matters now. Maybe not from where you're standing. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks again. Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to catch I need to be alone right now. Hey, 
Not many doctors around these days. You should let me take a look at you. Are doctors allowed to sell weapons? Isn't that a conflict of interest? Eh, not really. Let's get back to talking about all these great items I have for sale. Yeah, see what's wrong with me, doctor. Now, go over your symptoms for me. One at a time. Too much radiation. I feel sick. All right. Let's flush your system. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? No. We're done. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. That's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. No. Everyone in the Institute is dead. My God. So we just... killed everyone? This is gonna be a black mark on the Minutemen forever. As glad as I am that the Institute is gone, this wasn't the plan! Damn it, General. You've dragged us down to their level. It didn't have to be this way. What's done is done. People are still gonna need the Minutemen for a long time. The Institute was hardly the only threat out there. I guess we better get back to work. And just like that, the Institute was gone in a puff of smoke. Thanks to the Minutemen. Next time you run an op, how about you invite your brothers and sisters to the party? Not sure I like the idea of the Minutemen having so much firepower. Excuse me. The Minutemen took down the Institute. They're more resourceful than I thought. Paladin, I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, first and foremost, I wanted to inform you that using the Minutemen to destroy the Institute was a risky venture at best. Using untrained, non-military personnel in the operation could have had devastating consequences and resulted in an unnecessary loss of life. In the future, Elder Maxon and I need you to approve any tactical changes before they're executed. As I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. 
Of course, Captain. Very good, Paladin. My dead body. I see you've made your decision, Knight. How very disappointing. And I don't appreciate being betrayed by my own soldiers. How dare you betray the Brotherhood? As a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin, I'm issuing a formal challenge against your authority as Elder. We'll settle this matter as it was written in the litany. In combat. We'll settle this soon. Then you leave me no choice. I'll make this easy for you. Surrender now, and leave. I'll be surprised if he surrenders peacefully. I think it's time to leave this place to its fate. Uh... <clears throat> it took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. You've come such a long way in a short amount of time, so I can understand how you feel. All I can promise is that I'll be by your side every step of the way. I hope that's enough to convince you to take your place as Elder of the Brotherhood. All right. Outstanding. I know you need some time to come to grips with everything. Hell, all of us do. I'm going to head up to the Pridwin and discuss our next move with Kells. When you're ready, meet me on the command deck, and I'll give you a full report. Sir. Hi. Yes. I want to make one thing clear to everyone. This body might be synth, but my heart and mind belong to the Brotherhood. The Institute is still a tremendous threat to the Commonwealth. They possess technologies that need to be confiscated or destroyed. And even if that means I have to pull the trigger on my own kind, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. The litany's clear. We have a new Elder. Only a single question remains. Will the rest of the Brotherhood fall in line? Yes, right. sir. Halen, head back to Cambridge and make sure the police station is secure. Yes, sir. And Proctor, I believe you have a giant to awaken. Absolutely. Let's get to it, people. And what about you, Elder? What are your orders? Don't need anything today. The troops will appreciate that. I know that you're settling into your new position as Elder, but I'm hoping we can still count on you for field ops. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Outstanding. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah? Yes? I ain't letting you get me! <laughs> feeling we shouldn't be here. <clears throat> I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. I wish you would have told me the truth, Dance. I might have, if I'd known what I was. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No. But I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else. But that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. 
Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me? It's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Halen. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. The railroad's in the business of helping synths, too. That makes us friends. I see what you're getting at. I guess I never thought of it that way. Well, we have our next target. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. Make it quick. We have a lot of ground to cover. Get out of here. Good fight, human! You'll die well! You see me, human? This is death! <laughs> you hit like a rad roach! Ah! You move too much! It took the Brotherhood's sharpest minds over two years to design, and more than twice that to build. Time well spent, I'd say. Indeed. With the Pridwin in our arsenal, we can mobilize our entire division, sending her anywhere that Elder Maxon wishes her to go. Her presence in the Commonwealth ensures that our mission to defeat the Institute will end in victory. They don't stand a chance. Amen to that, soldier. In any event, I hope your tour of the Pridwin helped acclimate you to our way of life up here. I think you'll find that the more familiar you become with both her capabilities and her crew, the longer you'll survive as a member of the Brotherhood. You're dismissed, Knight. Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat, though. Hey there.
Come on, tough guy. Come on. Still alive? Christ.
Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. Welcome to the Boston Public Library. The library is currently closed. The library is currently closed. I work here. Let me in. Please provide your six-digit employee ID number. My ID number is, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. Please enjoy your visit. Mind the mess. We are currently undergoing maintenance. Protect and serve. 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 Solemn, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark well, my words. hello. I'll get to the bottom of this. You from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. No, I'm just passing through. My advice is pass through sooner than later. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, I can't say that I do. I just can't catch a break. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. <sighs> I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. 
I know you and your secret compound are behind what happened to Stockton's caravan. Supposing, hypothetically, we are. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Surely there's room for compromise. I get Stockton survivors, and we stay friends. I'd have to know more, though. That's a tall order. A deal like that, well, that's above my pay grade. Tell you what, I'll let the Kampa know you're coming. Then you can make your case to them. Good luck. Hey, you st Just because Jacob vouched for you doesn't mean you can enter the compound. Why should I let you in? I just want to talk with whoever's in charge here. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Hmm. We'll see. I'll take her to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. Don't try anything funny. You've been warned. Hey, Blythe! Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes, the interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. You shouldn't be in here. You're the first outsider that's been in here. Hey, extend the platform. Orden sent him. Stranger. Welcome to the compound. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a synth? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. I'd prefer a peaceful solution. As would I. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you, when you were but a child. Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? 
Believe me, I've been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? A war, really? Is it that bad? Hundreds of kidnappings over the years. Ask the survivors if it's really that bad. And there are so many other tragedies that may be their responsibility as well. Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? And how do they manage to keep us in the dark? A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton Synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Continue your work, then. Excellent. First, the loose end. <clears throat> Please don't hurt me. It's all right. You're safe now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. I believe you. I just want this nightmare to end. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Your Just let me out. Has a lot more Please. We've come to this understanding. Hey. Please, open the door. Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. I'm never, ever coming back here. If you're here about the missing caravan, the contract's should. already been picked up. I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. When did you start to care about sense? It's not that. The railroad is the only one standing up to the Institute. So Gary's wife, Kidman, that settlement Lucas Miller was talking about, wiped out. The mercenary I hired comes highly recommended. Hey, I'm what certain I don't today? need further Just assistance. Got a lot of scrap metal in. Hey there. You there you are. Attack, You're the one you that rescued uh, my Amelia. From what she told me, it sounds well, just horrible. Just horrible. Happy to help. Here's your amply deserved reward. I had hired a mercenary to do the job. <laughs> Clearly, I should have hired you instead, eh? Thank you. Dr. Chambers filled me in on your arrangement. I can't tell you how relieved we are. 
Everyone in Covenant has suffered dearly at the Institute's plan. We all believe in the mission, but outsiders may not clearly see the sacrifices that are necessary to protect the Commonwealth. I'd like to help further if I can. Actually, I was wanting to help you. We'd be honored to fly the Minuteman flag and contribute further to the safety and welfare of the Commonwealth. 